Welcome back to Walking with the Wild. Today let's talk about zebras. Before we start, a quick question. Why do zebras have stripes? Any ideas? Because they don't want to be spotted. Ha ha ha. Jokes aside, the zebras are awesome social animals. Come, let's find out more. As always, before we start, please hit subscribe and the bell icon to learn more about all different kinds of animals. Zebras are striped African mammals of the genus Equus and are most closely related to horses and donkeys. There are currently three species of zebra, the grevy zebra, the plain zebra and the mountain zebra. The plain zebra is the most common of the three species. A zebra stripes and size will vary depending on the species. Grevy zebra is the largest. It is about 5 feet tall at shoulder height. The mountain zebra is slightly smaller and is about 4.5 at shoulder height. The plain zebra is the smallest of the three species and is only around 4 feet at shoulder height. Zebras are animals that live long. They can live up to 20 years in the wild and up to almost 40 years in zoos. They move quickly for their large size. An adult zebra can run at 64 kilometers per hour, that is 40 miles per hour when galloping at full speed. Even at that speed, they are slower than horses. One reason is that zebras are stockier than horses. Their body is more like of a donkey. They have shorter legs and smaller oval hooves. Horses can run fast but they can't turn very well. Zebras are dynamic running in zigzags to avoid faster predators. They are like a rugby or football player sidestepping from their opponents. Zebras have far greater stamina than their predators. They can't run forever, but they can run at full speed for over a mile. Their predators must bounce within half a mile. None of the cats can spin for longer than that. So, a zebra will zigzag until the predator runs out of energy. Their predators obviously eat meat, but zebras are herbivores and spend most of their day eating grass and sometimes leaves, shrubs, twigs and bark too. Their teeth are well adapted for grazing and sharp incisors at the front of their mouth to bite the grass and large molars at the back for crushing and grinding. They graze for many hours each day, spending so much time chewing where the zebra's teeth out, so their teeth grow all their lives. Zebras are constantly on the move for fresh grass to eat and water to drink. They will travel thousands of kilometers in search of green grass where they can fill their bellies and quench their thirst. Zebras sometimes for migratory herds of tens of thousands and when they move, it looks like long lines moving. Their manes are made of short, straight hair. And their most famous feature is their brilliant black and white striped coat. Why do zebras have stripes? Well, scientists are not entirely sure. Their stripes perhaps serve to dazzle and confuse predators and biting insects. No two zebras have identical stripes. Each one is unique in how its stripes come up just like fingerprints on people. One theory is that their stripes have a social purpose, helping zebras recognize one another. Another idea is that when they are in a large herd because of their stripes, it is difficult for a hunter to make out one zebra's outline from another. Some scientists also think that the stripes help reflect the sun rays, thus making it easier for them to stand the hot African savanna sun. Family Zebras are social animals that spend time in herds. They graze together and even groom one another. A group of zebras is sometimes called a dazzle. The male zebra is called a stallion, 
A female is called a mare and a young one is called a foal. They live in family groups. The bond between members of the family are strong. A family herd consists of mothers and young and a head stallion. Sometimes zebra families join to form large herds. But even in the large herd, the family stays together. When a foal or colt is born, the mother keeps all the zebras, even the members of her family, away from it for two or three days until it learns to recognize her by sight, voice and smell. While all foals have a close connection with their mothers, the male foals are also close to their fathers. They leave their group of their own accord between the ages of 1 and 4 years to join an all-male bachelor group until they are strong enough to head a family. Their dogs must be constantly wary of lions and hyenas. A herd has many eyes alert to danger. If an animal is attacked, its family will come to its defense circling the wounded zebra and attempting to drive off predators. Zebras can defend their herd and tell the tree by kicking, biting and pushing predators. They will engage in similar aggressive behavior when another stallion attempts to take over their herd or to display dominance in mating. Zebra family members look out for one another. If one becomes separated from the rest, the others search for it. The group adjusts in travelling pace to accommodate the old and the weak. Habitat Zebras inhabit savannas from treeless grasslands to open woodlands. They are also adapted to semi-arid conditions where there is less water. Sound Zebras communicate with one another with facial expressions and sounds. They make loud braying or barking sounds and soft snorting or whiffling sounds. Interesting Facts Ostriches and zebras protect each other. Like many symbiotic pairs, Zebras and ostriches seem to be an unlikely match. However, they are crucial to each other's safety. While ostriches have poor senses of hearing and smell, zebras have bad eyesight. Additionally, ostriches and zebras often travel together because they can warn each other of the possible dangers. Zebras and giraffes herd together too. When moving in zebra, Giraffe herds, they rely on giraffes as a way of detecting predators. So what do you think about these dazzling social animals? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon before moving on to the next video on our channel.